What's up, my friends? It's about 8 o'clock in the morning right now, so I'm sorry if I look tired while I'm recording this. But I want to let you know I'm selling some blank masks. Now, this is going to be a limited time offer type of thing. And if you don't want the explanation for why I'm doing this or what kind of masks they are, then just go to my Etsy shop. The link is below in the info, and you can order your creator pack of four masks. If you want to know why I'm selling these, stick around. I've been wanting to sell blanks to you for a long time. It's just that the uh, person I buy blanks from on eBay who I leave a link to in all the videos that you see me use this type of mask in, they limit uh, order quantities to 20. And I need to order a lot more than that if I'm going to sell blanks to all of my viewers. So I needed to find another seller that sells the exact same type of, of blank. If you've ever tried to order these made in China style blanks, you know that they change from seller to seller. The weight of the plastic, the shape of the mask, all of that can be different from one seller to the next. It's so hard to tell from their pictures what you're going to get. So basically I've had to bounce around, order one mask at a time, get it, realize it's not what I want, chunk it, discard it or whatever, and try another one. I've tried all the different websites, Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, DHgate, just trying to find a seller who sells the exact same blank that you see me using the video, but in unlimited quantities where I can order as many as I need to. What ended up happening is I finally found a seller that according to the pictures, I thought that's gotta be the same mask. It just, it, it looks so close in the picture. I'm sick of bouncing around and, and ordering these one at a time. I'm just going to take a chance and do it. So I ordered 200, 200, 200 of these things, hoping for the best. And sure enough, once they showed up, they weren't exactly what I wanted. They didn't match these exactly. But the good news is they're still very usable masks. They're just not the exact same ones that you see in my videos. I don't know how well you're going to be able to tell the differences without close-up shots, but hopefully I'll, I'll do a decent job of, of showing you guys. Now, here's the mask that I'm selling. This is what I ended up getting. Here's the mask that you see in my videos. Now, there's not a glaring visual difference when you, when you glance at them, but this one has a much shinier coat. It's a much sturdier plastic. It's a higher grade PVC plastic, so it's, it's stiffer. This one is a little more dull, has a little more flex to it, but still not bad. Not nearly as bad as some of the other masks that I got from other sellers. Another difference here is this one has a very symmetrical shape and it's consistent from one mask to the next. With these masks, I don't know if you can tell, but the shape is just a little bit more warped around the side and they had a little bit of a, a small skew to them when I first got the, the box, but as they flattened out, they actually look a lot better than they did. There's the difference. And I'm just trying to be completely transparent with you because I don't want you to order these masks and think, wait a minute, it doesn't look exactly like the one I see him using in the video. My original intention was to sell these masks untouched to you. If as long as they were the exact same ones that I use in my video, I was just going to basically be the middleman to get them to you. But because they're a different grade of plastic and the, the mask is a little bit different, I feel bad about that, felt bad about that. So I came up with a new plan, something that I'm not going to do again because it ended up being a lot more work than I intended it to be. Uh, I've created these creator packs. There are four masks in one box. I've got 50 boxes. I've prepped them all with damage, basically. I've tried to go an extra step for you. And this will also help anybody who doesn't have a Dremel tool or any cutting tools. I get a lot of comments about that, about not having a way to add the damage to the mask. So here's what it is. It's a creator pack of four masks. The first mask is untouched. Just a regular old blank. You do whatever you want to do with it. Now in the second mask, I've already put the ax mark in it for you. So you got that going for you. The third mask, I've done some part seven damage for you. Axe mark, the jaw cut out. I've also drilled out the snap on this side. The fourth mask is a mystery mask. Mystery mask. You're not gonna know what you're getting. I'm not gonna send you a picture. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I've added damage to the fourth mask in all 50 of these boxes and it's all random. I was just out there with the Dremel going through them and just making it up as I went. So all of these are gonna be different for each order and you don't know what you're gonna get, but there will be some kind of damage on the mask. Might be a little bit, might be a whole lot. That's why it's a mystery mask. I personally find this more fulfilling than selling completed masks. I know I get a lot of requests for selling finished masks. I'm one guy, I have a full-time job during the week. I just don't have time to make a bunch of completed masks and sell them. So this is the next best thing. And honestly, this is more fulfilling because you get to be creative. And all I try to stress is that you be creative. That's the whole point of this series of videos. All of these mask videos are supposed to be guides or inspiration for helping you decide what you want to do with your mask or what you don't want to do with your mask. If you hate what I did or if I mess something up, then you know what route not to take. Also, a little disclaimer for those of you who might jump in the comments. These are not intended to be movie accurate blanks. That's not the point here. These are much more affordable. You can afford to do some trial and error. You don't feel as bad if you mess one up 
and you need to chuck it and discard it. They're close enough that they're going to look really cool once you're done with it and no one's going to look at it and say, wait a minute now, those straps are a little higher. It doesn't have quite the right shape on the side. We all know that these are not screen accurate blanks. That's not being questioned here and it's all, I'm also not presenting these as that. All right, I think I'm done rambling. Thank you so much for listening. I hope everything is great in your world and I really appreciate you supporting this channel, watching the videos, liking, sharing, sharing, commenting, subscribing, subscribing, all that good stuff. I can't wait to see what you guys do with these creator packs. Please go get you one. Etsy link is below in the info. And that's all I've got. I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace.